weekends. The Ruskies are coming, the Ruskies are coming. By the bus load, the truck load. Somewhere around here is supposed to be the biggest Russian flea market uh, east of the Soviet border. And that's what I'm looking for. I think I'm not too far away, judging by all of the buses. Here ahead is where it is. Those that remember the flea market, the Polish markets of Berlin, will probably be able to identify with this. Understand this is also an area where you better tie down everything you can. Pickpockets are supposed to have a field day here too. Uh, interesting enough, this is right next to police headquarters. You name it, they sell it. Just load up the trailer and then sell out of the back. This is a practical way of doing it. Again, as far as the eye can see, cars and people. People and cars. Those work clothes. Tires. And this end of it is firmly in Vietnamese hands. Just about all the stands are being run by Vietnamese. Watch your step here. Practical, you've got these green metal containers that then open up into sales stands. Very practical. Just everything that's sellable sold here. Vicky, where are you when I need you? If you like buying anything, how the heck am I supposed to bargain with these people? Well, I guess money speaks. And there's one guy selling glasses. Anybody that wants to buy a bird cheap? <laughs> oh well. Like I said, you can buy anything here. But nothing that anybody would really want. I just had my second offer from somebody wanting to buy my video camera. <laughs> We've got cigarettes there from Aeroflot, TU-134. Here's somebody that's even got an oscilloscope. Amazing. Where I was was just a little offshoot part of it. Here's the main part up ahead. So we'll see what's going on there. Again, everything imaginable under the sun for sale here.
is what I just said. I didn't want to tape the money counters back there, but it was weird. You're watching everything here hand been wheeled and dealed and slotty and ruple and dollars. I haven't seen any marks yet though. Gambling thing going here. Little APC. Soviet edition. This part here you've got your local fruit and vegetable market. I just had my next offer for somebody wanting to buy the camcorder. <laughs> Now let's see what part we're going to get into here. Here's where This is all in Polish hands by the looks of it. Here, as we're leaving now. People sell bakery goods, grapes, wasps for extra. You see, it's very, very hectic here. Noodles. Another guy selling bread. Mm. Those mushrooms. Or the guy also had two tails of Pfefferlinge here. No. So you can buy this. Here's one more sweep along the whole extent. Police headquarters, because this always takes place in, right in front of their doorstep. Past a white car that's just passing there has got Illinois plates. Here's all the different types of Soviet buses.
Here's one from Latvia, from Riga. And here's one from uh, Tallinn. Here's the last look at Valiosta. So 34,000 it cost, which is like about three dollars.
another little town by the wayside. selling mushrooms at the side of the road. the river Boog, and now in, how do you pronounce it, uh, Wiskov. Here's where we cross the river Boog. It's a temporary bridge where all the work on the main one. on now.
discovered I didn't have the microphone turned on while I was in there. Um, what I was trying to point out was that they actually weigh the french fries when you buy them. The potatoes aren't cheap enough. Here's a last minute panoramic look around downtown Warsaw. This is the main train station. Don't ask me what this is, but it looks like a transposed skyscraper. Then right across from the train station, the Holiday Inn. They're everywhere, they're everywhere. There's something that's hard to find in Germany. Grocery store that's open Sundays. And sell everything you could possibly want. And then over here they got the wine parts. All kinds of wines. But guess what, Mom? Look what I just found. All I have to do is just come to Warsaw anytime I want some. <laughs> Another little look at the Holiday Inn. Great with Dorman even. that advertises wines from California. Sounds, per sounds like it's in American hands. Here's a sling place again from a different angle. Well, the lower part of it is the Congress Centrum with a casino built in. The upper part, I guess, must be office space or something. Well, skinheads in the distance. A couple of cops heading by. By the way, this is one of the more morbid train stations I've seen in my time, as you'll see. I'm taking a little walking tour of the train station. Here's the main floor of the train station. Quite modern. Yesterday when I was here, you also had to watch out for low-flying pigeons. They were all over the place. You have plenty of ticket counters, but most of them are closed. And at the other ones, it moves at a snail's pace because everybody's so busy counting money. You know, lose track with all the coin, with all the zeros on the bills here. Here's the prices with the couchettes to various places. Hopefully I can, we can read that. I mean, even inside the train station you have pigeons. 